And if you think it's been hot, it has been hot. These are the days uh, at or above 99 degrees here in Albuquerque. We've hit 10 consecutive days. That's the second longest streak on record. Our first longest streak is 14 days. Are we going to be close to it? Well, we're probably going to add another day today with a forecast and high of 101. It's not quite a record high. Thank goodness, but it's still very hot out there. We had a couple of sprinkles in the four corners early this morning. All of that has now subsided and we're left with mostly clear skies to start our Wednesday. But now as we get toward the afternoon hours, that's when showers and thunderstorms will begin to bubble back up. Now we have a couple of severe storms we're expecting here in northeast New Mexico. Those will start around uh, one or two o'clock time frame. And then we have a couple of north um, north mountains in the western part of the state. Showers and thunderstorms we're expecting as well. Those are not expected to be strong or severe, but they could cause some erratic wind gusts. But again, the main story is still going to be the heat. We're still expecting extreme heat values here. I mean, talking about 110 for a projected high in Roswell today, 109 for Carlsbad, triple digits from Las Cruces, truth or consequences, all the way up towards Socorro at 102. Expecting some 90s here in the North Mountains, around 93 for Taos and Santa Fe. Now, heat advisory is not as widespread today because of the little bit of the cooler conditions, but the Santa Fe and Albuquerque metros remain under a heat advisory. And Roswell and Carl bad have been upgraded to an excessive heat warning because of those temperatures being very close to 110. Timing out your precipitation chances again as we get toward the heating of the day. That's when we begin to see our best chance of showers and thunderstorms. And again, some from Raton toward Clayton and even as far south as Tucumcari could be isolated severe damaging winds and large hail. The main threat with that our best chance of seeing any showers or thunderstorms in Albuquerque and Santa Fe will be late afternoon and early evening hours when a couple of outflow boundaries could try to work into the city from previous thunderstorms. So it's still going to be a hot day today. Triple digits expected for the southeast. 105 for Alamogordo and 110 for Roswell. Good news is rain chances increase as we get toward the weekend and that'll drop our high temperatures just slightly back up to the upper 90s by Saturday. 102 for Socorro with a shower or thunderstorm possible as we get toward the afternoon hours for the northwest and the Four Corners region. Mainly in the 90s, although I will say Farmington, you could be near the 100 degree mark again today and lasting through Friday. That's why you have a heat advisory in effect for today and then shower and thunderstorm chances pick up slightly towards Saturday and Sunday. A few showers and thunderstorms possible for the North Mountains today. Santa Fe giving you about a 40% chance as we get toward the afternoon hours. A high around 93 for your Wednesday. Again, a couple of severe thunderstorms are possible for the Northeast today. Highs in the 80s and 90s for the East Mountains. A little bit cooler, but still very hot. Expecting a high around 96 for Edgewood. And in the Metro today, triple digits are expected to happen again. 103 for the South Valley. Looking at about 102 for Corrales and Bernalillo. 101 for Rio Rancho with that 20% chance as we get toward the latter part of the afternoon and it's the same for the Albuquerque Metro with rain chances around 40% for your Saturday and Sunday. Now we have some breaking traffic information to get to.